Well, hello there. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about plotting points. And there are three things we need to make sure we know before the end of this lesson. Number one, we should be able to say key parts of the coordinate plane. Next, you should be able to say what ordered pairs are. And third, you need to make sure you know how to use ordered pairs in order to plot points. It might seem a little confusing, but I believe in you. Let's get this started. Coming up on the math review. How to plot points. There are four steps to plotting points. Step number one, start at the origin. Remember, the origin is the middle where the X and Y axes cross and the coordinates there are 0, 0. Step number two, move to the X coordinate. Step number three, move to the Y coordinate. And finally, step number four is to plot the point there. Let's take a look at an example. These numbers here in parentheses are what you call an ordered pair. They're a pair of numbers that in a specific order, tell us how to plot points. This first number in the ordered pair is our X coordinate, and it tells us to move left or right on the number line. Left if it's negative, and right if it's positive. Because remember, that's where the number is on a number line. To the right if they're positive, and to the left if they're negative. And this second number here in the ordered pair is called the Y coordinate. It basically does the same thing, except for going up and down. If this is a positive value, you're going to move up. And if it's negative, you're going to go down. Now for some students, it might be hard to remember to use the X coordinate first and the Y coordinate second. So here are two tips to help you remember that fact. Here's tip number one. Think about when you're entering a building and you want to go to a different floor. First. You've got to walk across the floor. Then when the elevator comes, you can get into the elevator. And then once you're in the elevator, then and only then can you go either down or up. But you have to walk first. That's why we use the X axis first and the Y axis second. And if you can't remember that, imagine you were the pilot of your own personal airplane. The airplane has to go across the runway before it can take off into the air. And that's another way to help you remember that you have to use the X axis going left to right first and then the Y axis going second. Now let's get into the first example. So let's say we have to plot the point 2, negative 4. I like to write something I call a plot plan. I look at each of my coordinates in the ordered pair. I take a look at my first number and then write down if that's telling me to go left or right. Well, this is positive 2, so it means I'm going to go two places to the right. And then I'm going to go up or down. Well, since it's negative 4, this means I'm going to go four units down on the y axis. So let's get started. First, we'll start at the origin. Next, we'll move using our X coordinate. So like our plot plan says, we're gonna go two units to the right. One, two. And then from here, we're gonna go four units down. One, two, three, four. So this is going to be where we plot our point. And then it's always a good idea to label it. So next to this, we'll write 2, negative 4. This example says to plot the point negative 8, 5. So let's write the plot plan. Because this is negative 8, and because I know the first number is going to tell me to go left or right, I have to see if the number is positive or negative. Since it's negative 8, it means I'm going to go 8 units to the left. And then I look at my second number. 
and that's going to tell me if I go up or down. Since it's positive 5, I'm going to go 5 units up. And now we just have to follow the plot plan. So we'll start at the origin. We'll go 8 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now from here, I'll go 5 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll just plot our point. And it's always a good idea to write the location next to the point. So right next to this, we'll write negative 8, 5. The next example says, plot the point 5, 7. Our first number is positive 5. And since this is positive 5, it means we're going to go 5 units to the right. And then, the second number is 7. So from there, we'll go 7 units up. Now let's follow that plot plan. We'll start at the origin. Go 5 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then from here, we'll use our Y coordinate. And that means we're going to go up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is where we're going to plot our point. And next to it, we'll write the location of that point, which is 5, 7. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Math Review.